Lift and conversion. Do you know the difference? And why does it matter to our communications and development? Well, conversion happens when people engage with our content, reacting to our calls to action. Whether that's attending a seminar, watching a video, or downloading a report, maybe even changing their behavior. But here's the thing. Are we really converting new people? Or are we just reaching those who would have engaged anyway? Let's take an example. You spend extra money creating a beautifully designed PDF. Great formatting, professional pictures, this sort of thing. Now, everyone praises it. But the truth is, those same people would have been perfectly happy reading a simple Word document. They were already interested in the content and the design didn't really influence their decision. There were no new people in the audience gained. So that's not creating lift. It's just conversion that would have happened anyway. And that means we're wasting resources. Even if the target audience praises it and believes the design helps reaching more people, they make assumptions about other people, which doesn't mean anything. It doesn't really help. So in communications, it's absolutely critical to understand the difference between lift and conversion. We need to make sure we're not just appealing to those who are already on board that would have come already to the party. They don't need another brochure. But actually, we need to reach and convert new audiences, create lift.